Okay, so what I have done is I've drilled my three-quarter inch hole and I've mounted my on-off kill switch right there. And I have also drilled into the side right here with a quarter inch drill for the wiring to go into. Let's see if that works. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to finish the end that ties into here with my launch button. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take uh, about a seven, seven and a half inch length of speaker wire and I've prepared both ends already and I'm going to take and put it into these ends. Now what I've decided to do is I've decided to put red, there's red and black, red and black wires here, I've decided that the clear side of the speaker wire will be red and there's a dark line on the other side of the speaker wire, if you can tell, I'm going to make it black. But red will always be red. Will always be the clear side. So this clear side is red, so it will go in here. And the black has a stripe on it, so it will go in there. And I will just take and crimp that on real good. black that has that gray stripe. Okay, and I'll take this one and put the red wire, which is the clear wire, right in there and crimp it. Okay, so now I have that. So I'm going to attach the end of this wire onto the back of this plate that I have drilled with a three quarter inch drill bit and mounted the on off kill switch. There's three prongs. I'll, I'll go ahead and mount it to that. But first, a couple of things. Um, on this solenoid, if you just unscrew it, just take it completely off. Um, there's this little ring thing that says on off. You really don't need that. It just says that's the way you screw it on and off. So I just chuck it. And just gets in the way and bothers me and it's very confusing. It's like, well, on and off, what do you do with it? Nothing. You do nothing with it. So I just take it off. Screw in the solenoid nice and good. So that's always on. If you screw it out, it's off. And I'm going to take and feed these wires through that quarter inch hole that I drilled as well as this, I'm going to feed it through as well. So I have these four wires going through. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is I don't want anybody yanking this out and breaking my connection inside. So I am going to tie a knot in here like what we did with this, so it doesn't pull out. Okay, and we have extra wire, so that's as far as it goes out there. And I'm going to do the same with these solenoid wires, because I don't want them pulling out either. So I'll put it in. Not. 
So I have a little slack right there, not too much there, just a little bit of slack there. Okay, so that's what that looks like. So then when I go to connect, I have the connection here, locks in, turn it on and off, turn it on to the launch the air rockets. When I want to take it apart, push the little clip, separate this from this connection, we're good to go. Okay, so now I've got these wires here. All right. Let me twist these around so there's a good twist on them. Now I'm going to connect these two speaker wires that I have that connect to the end of this red one onto this kill switch first. And if you take a look at the kill switch, there is some um, writing. It says uh, 16A125 VC whatever on the bottom. That's going to go on the bottom and that's my reference. I'm not going to have it on the top upside down. I'm going to have the bottom so you can read it on the bottom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the red wire of the speaker wire. Now remember my red wire is the clear uh, plastic coating. My black wire has the kind of a dark gray stripe running down it. So I'm going to take the clear one, which is my red wire, and put it in the middle terminal. Put it on the middle. And then the black wire is going to go on the one directly to the right of it, or on the outside right. Okay? So the red one goes in the middle, and the black wire goes on the right outside one. So I'm going to go ahead and solder those on. And again, how I do that is I'll just take it, and there's a hole in these terminals. I'll put the wire in the hole, bend the wire up, so I've got the one, and I've heated this soldering iron so it's on and ready to go. Thank goodness I haven't burned myself yet. And I am going to solder this on. So I'm going to get it hot here. I think you can see that right there. So I'm going to get it hot. And then solder it on. Okay, so that's good. Smokes a little bit. It gets really hot. Just be careful you don't burn yourself with that. So that's the one terminal. Well, it didn't quite get it. Okay. Now that's on. Okay, it's all connected. Now I'm going to do the same with my black wire because it's got that gray stripe. I'm going to stick it in the terminal. Spread it open a little bit more, have some more to work with. Can make a little hook on it already and just hook it in. Bend that wire up so it's hooked on. Great. And then I'm going to go ahead and solder that. All right. When the soldering iron is good and hot, it does a pretty quick job. Touched it, soldered to the terminal, to the wire. I've got a connection. It goes real fast once it's really good and hot and you know what you're doing. Okay, so that's good. So that's a, another phase down.